I'm on my way to a classroom at IMD for a program on leadership development. The most powerful moment of learning in the program comes when participants look at the feedback on their leadership competencies. But have you wondered where the idea of competencies comes from? Actually, this idea can be traced back 2,500 years to Cyrus the Great. He established a huge land empire running from Pakistan to Greece and from Saudi Arabia all the way to Libya. It was the world's first multinational, multilingual empire. In terms of governance, Cyrus's big innovation was pluralism. In contrast to previous rulers, he was merciful to his defeated enemies and respected their customs and religions. He declared his intention to rule by your consent, which was a new kind of bottom-up concept. And he set these principles in stone. The Cyrus Cylinder is viewed by many historians as the first charter of human rights. Talent management was Cyrus's great organizational innovation. After running out of relatives and friends, he developed a cadre of satraps to rule on his behalf across the empire. They kept the empire going. They were the original country managers. Alexander the Great ended the dynasty by defeating the Persians, but nevertheless realized there was a lot to learn from Cyrus. In fact, almost everything we know about Cyrus comes from Greek sources. Cyrus's leadership style was studied principally by Xenophon, a disciple of Socrates, arguably the world's first leadership guru. Why? Because he looked at Cyrus and said, here are some fantastic things that leaders should do. He listed the competencies that Cyrus was looking for in the satraps. Kindness, clemency, concern for other people, primacy of collective interests above personal interests, but also physical strength, discipline, moral endurance. Cyrus wanted the empire to be run by people with these qualities. This was the first time that anyone articulated a generalized model of leadership. Xenophon was cited as an inspiration and a pioneer in the study of leadership by both Machiavelli and Peter Drucker. He also influenced all those of us who use a competency-based model of leadership in our organizations or our work. The whole idea that we should specify competencies and then measure and develop people on them took root thanks to Xenophon.